All right, guys, so today we are looking at how to remove or uninstall applications that you and I install into our computer. So if any of you are having problems with installing, please leave comments down below and maybe we'll do an install video as well. But there are a lot of apps that you and I would like to just not have or there are applications that, of course, we've either downloaded from the App Store or we've gone online somewhere on the internet and we've downloaded them. Now, depending on where we've gotten those apps will kind of depend on how we uninstall them. Okay, so let's, let's go over here. So number one is we've all probably played around with the App Store itself. And this is probably one of the best and probably the safest places for you and I to be able to get applications because they go through a like a security process, just basically making sure that there's nothing wrong with those apps. So a nice safe way for us to get apps. And we can kind of go in here and play around. We'll, we'll do a maybe a future tutorial on how to use the App Store. But this is where a lot of us get our apps. Now, when those apps are actually installed, um, they show up on this screen. And if you go down here to your launch pad, you can click on here. If you have a computer with a trackpad, you can actually just use all of your fingers and kind of just pull like this on your trackpad and you'll get the actual launch pad come up. And that's this. Um, and you'll see for me down here, there's one dot, two dot, three dots. Just like if you have an iPhone or iPad, these are kind of different screens. So I can kind of slide across these, just, just sliding across the top of my mouse to go to all these different apps. Now, these are all the applications that I currently have on this computer. This is probably the first place that you want to go if you're trying to uninstall, because if it is an application that you and I have gotten from the App Store, it'll let us uninstall it directly from this screen. And sometimes we're like, well, how do I remember? Well, it's simple. So if I click and hold on any one of these, doesn't really matter what, I'm gonna pick GarageBand right here, click and hold, you'll see that they start to jiggle. And if you go through here, you'll see no X's, no, no X's at the top. There's an X, there's an X, there's a little X, there's a little X, there's a little X, et cetera, et cetera. Go to the next page, little X, nothing, 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 nothing. Little X, little X, little X. Um, and anything with the little X on the top is an application that you and I have gotten from the App Store, which means, honestly, we simply just click on the little X and it'll ask if you'd like to delete it and it's gone. That's super simple. So getting an app from the App Store, really easy. Uh, removing an app that you've bought or downloaded from the App Store, ridiculously easy. And that's the first place that you look. Because if it has that little X on there, again, just click and hold on them, they'll all kind of jiggle. This is the easiest way to get rid of them. So I don't want to get rid of any of these, so I'm going to click between them or somewhere else and you'll see they stop just like on an iPhone or iPad. Now, if it's one of those applications that isn't like that. So again, let's say for instance, uh, I wanted to remove, and I'll just kind of click here, uh, this Blackmagic raw speed test, okay? So if you go down into your finder down here, this little guy here, you should see on the side something called applications. And when you click on the applications, I'll just make this a bit bigger. Right. These are all the applications that I have right here. Tons and tons and tons and tons. So here's that black magic raw speed test. If I don't want it simply, I'm going to delete it so I can right click on it. Move to trash. Now, depending on if this is a little bit of a deeper dive into it, there, there may be a, you know, you have to type in your administrative password, but that's it. This is all kind of inside its own application. So, all that program's information is inside that icon. So once you delete it, you should be good. Okay, now you will notice, I'll come down here. Here's DaVinci Resolve, and this opens up and there's a bunch of stuff in it. Now, one of the things that I recommend doing if the program is kind of in this little folder structure, always go into the folder structure and see if there's an uninstaller. If there's an uninstaller, that means that program has probably left kind of like spare files kind of all over your computer that it needs to go get and remove. So look, DaVinci right here, you'll see there is nothing here that talks about an actual, oh, there is right here, see, uninstall. So there is an uninstaller. So I don't wanna just delete that folder, I wanna use that uninstaller. So that, that's good to know, right? Most programs, it's Canon Utilities, right, has a little folder in here. Does this have an uninstaller? Kind of check, any uninstaller, no. Any uninstaller? Nope. Any uninstaller? Nope. Uninstaller? Nope. Cool. I could, sh I should be able to just pull that whole folder again, delete it. I can hit command and delete on my keyboard. 
should also pull it away. So that, that's kind of nice. Now, the last thing, sometimes, sometimes you may remove an app like this and you get an error, right? An error somewhere or down the road, you, you just want to make sure that these applications are actually uninstalled properly. So there are some uh, third-party apps that you can get, and I'm just going to put, uh, I'll put them actually down, little links down below, so that you guys can kind of go see them if you feel like it. Um, and there, there are programs here, there's a website here that kind of shows them third-party uninstallers, an app called App Cleaner, and uninstaller, App Zapper, Clean My Mac, App Delete, Trash Me. Uh, I think I've used the Trash Me one before. They aren't really apps that you need to use almost ever. I think I've used it once in my whole Mac experience that I've had to use one, and it was literally because the third-party company said, try this to see if this fixes an issue that you're having. So the first two ways, almost guaranteed to be all you ever will need, but these, these can be helpful if you run into that situation. But always kind of reach out, I say, to that program's customer service, customer support, and see if there's like, because uh, they'll probably tell you, go, go use this app because there's some weird file that is probably left over somewhere that's causing the issue. All right, guys, there's your simple ways of uninstalling. Yeah, Un very different than Windows, right? Because Windows actually has an uninstaller section of, of their Windows system that you go in and it does all the uninstalling for you. This, you kind of just, just delete the file. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. And again, we have training videos. We try, try to get them out Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Other than that, we have videos on all kinds of tech stuff and unboxings and all that goodness. All right, my friends, see you tomorrow morning. Later.